Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So lately I've been thinking just how glad I am that we bought this Evo 10 MR. Um, it just really came up at the wrong time for us to buy. Uh, we're in the middle of saving for a house. We already had an Evo 10 and a Rally Art. And yeah, we weren't really planning on buying a car at the time. As I said, we were saving for our house at the time. Uh, it was in the middle of COVID and yeah, things were looking a bit tight for everyone. We both kept our jobs, but still, this car came up for sale. We sort of thought about buying it. I said to Letitia, look, now's the time. It's either we get it now while before we've bought our house or we basically just keep the rally art uh, for quite a few years yet because once we get into our house, we're not gonna be buying any new cars or doing any major financial purchases like that. So yeah, we sort of waited up, realized what we could sell the rally art for, what we could pay for this car and we've made what a lot of people told us was the dumb decision to be buying a car at the time. And yeah, in this video, I'm just going to be going over why I think it was actually a really good idea and why this has just been such a good car to purchase. So yeah, with that said, let's get into the video. Okay, so now if you've been watching the channel for a while, you should have seen our Lancer Rally Art, which was Letitia's previous car. Uh, we've since sold that, but when I started the channel, that's the two cars we owned, were her Lancer Rally Art and my Phantom Black Evo 10. Um, every time she drove my Evo 10, as much as she loved her Rally Art, she just said she really wanted an Evo. It's just a totally different driving experience, and yeah, it really showed every time she actually did try and drive the car. So this one originally popped up for sale from the, a previous owner, um, and we considered buying it, and funnily enough, one of the reasons that Letitia decided not to was she didn't like the red, um, which is funny because now this is possibly one of her favorite colors for the Evo 10, as the color just really grew on us, especially once it's been uh, detailed properly. Um, but yeah, so we passed on it and the, someone else bought it. Um, they only had the car for around three months and then they put it back up for sale. So we thought, yeah, there's something going on here, something wrong with it, but we knew that uh, we could probably get it at a really good price so we went and had a look at it we test drove it and if you guys have been following this build then you'd know that there was some real problems with the car um, including that it actually needed a whole new engine which we have since replaced so yeah we managed to get the car at an absolute bargain price um, we've since then replaced the engine with one out of a wrecked evo 10 with far less kilometers um, but yeah this car yeah, we got it at the cheap price, but it already had the rebuilt SST. So yeah, that's the first um, sort of reason why I'm just so glad we bought this car is that just the price we paid uh, is just crazy. I, I don't want to go into the, saying what we paid for it, but it was less than for what we sold the rally art for. So we were able to easily get our money back into our house deposit account. Um, so yeah, it was just a really good price, just a bad time to be actually buying a car. So that's the, the first reason why I'm just so glad that we actually bought this car. Okay, so the second reason, not that I was looking to make this like a list type video with you know this many reasons why I bought this car, but still that's kind of how it's coming out. So yeah, the second reason that I'm really glad we bought this car, I'm really happy with it, is the fact that, I don't know if it's the same everywhere in the world, but the Australian used car market is just going crazy at the moment. Um, it started off with sort of older Japanese cars, such as the R32 GTR, which we all know became legal in the US, so prices sort of skyrocketed everywhere. But then, weirdly enough, everything else, sort of Japanese or performance, just started going up. Um, don't know if it's a mixture of the Americans being able to import certain cars and looking to import them and store them in, for the future, or it's COVID. Um, in Australia, you could actually pull your, some of your superannuation out and a lot of people were using that to buy cars. Um, could be any number of those reasons, but not sure what it is, but yeah, the used market here just went crazy for performance cars. So we bought this right when the market was kind of bottomed out. Um, this was actually for sale for a little while and the previous owner had it for sale for quite a while too, at around $18,000 before he ended up selling it. That's why we considered buying it because it was such a bargain. But yeah, then the market sort of just was so hard to sell cars. No one was really wanting Evo 10s. Um, I always thought that the Evo 10 GSR with the manual would probably hold its value a bit better. And the MRs, not many people seem to like the SST, so they won't um, be really as desirable. But no, it seems like any Evo 10 and even Rally Arts now are just holding their value and actually going up. 
So yeah, we bought this car, like I said, when the market was really bottomed out, just at the start of COVID. And then, um, yeah, we basically could sell it and make a tidy profit at the moment. So not that we're looking to do that, but it's just something interesting that, yeah, we basically have an investment here. Like it's, it's not lost us money, uh, which is usually the case when you buy a car and then spend a bit of money on it. So yeah, that's something that I'm really happy with. Like we could have kept the rally out and we wouldn't have been in any worse position, but we also ended up buying this and same thing. We're not in a worse position than what we were. Um, the car's now, you know, it's what Letitia wanted, it's the Evo 10. Um, and yeah, we, we haven't lost money by doing the trade. We still have our house deposit in the middle of buying a house at the moment. So yeah, that's gonna be the second reason. So the third thing is just how many great parts are on this car. Even if this was standard, we would have been quite happy with it, but it's actually got a lot of great parts, including a full turbo back exhaust system, upgraded turbo, upgraded manifold, uh, suspension, and just many great OEM pieces, such as the full aero body kit. So we did really well picking this car up and yeah, not having to spend the amount of money that it's taken to build it. Um, we've obviously spent a few thousand dollars since, but a lot of the great pieces were already on the car, so we could just add to it and make it our own from there. So that's definitely something that was a real bonus and something that makes the car sort of more desirable, easier to sell and better to own. Okay, so the next thing is just how well this car drives. Now it's got coilovers, it's got sway bars, it's had a lot of suspension upgrades, um, it's got upgraded brake rotors. So the previous owner who sort of did the turbo and most of the work on the car, he actually was really into track days, whether it was um, quarter mile or uh, racing so he did yeah a lot of quarter mile days with this car and ran 11.81 second quarter mile he also did a lot of track days at lakeside and queensland raceway and a few other tracks and yeah he upgraded the car to suit that so jumping into this car now out of mine it's really good it's got good coilovers it's got all the sway bars and bushings so um and it's how to rebuild SST so it shifts really well. It's just a really good daily driver and really good package for Letitia to drive. And I actually end up driving it quite a bit myself. So yeah, it's um I've driven test driven some Evo 10s and rally arts that just felt a little bit old. This one having 212,000 kilometers on the clock. You think it would feel a bit old and tired, but it actually doesn't. It drives really well, and yeah, thanks to that fresh engine we've put in and the um, freshened up SST transmission, it actually drives as good as my car did when I bought it six years ago, or probably better, I'd say. And the next reason is just the overall condition of the car. Um, as you can see, the paint is amazing. A bit of that was due to me doing the paint correction on it and ceramic coating. But just the whole car itself, everything is nicely on there. Like the bumper's not hanging off, kind of like my car is after, you know, me stuffing around with it so much. It's got just well looked after, no real chips, no real scratches. Uh, the interior doesn't have any real damage to it. It's just been well looked after. Um, there's not really any major downsides to the car. Uh, has all the guard lining, has the aero kit fitted properly. Like it's just, it's well built, well maintained. And then now we can do the best to keep it that way. So that's definitely a big bonus for this car. And lastly, and luckily it's the last reason, it's actually starting to rain here, um, is the fact that it's just great that we now both own Evo 10s. Now, like I said at the start, when I started the channel, it was really good that I had my Evo 10 and Letitia's Lancer Rally Art. So it was a good platform to start the channel on, could make videos on both, but the Lancer Rally Art was basically finished. We had everything done to it that we could do. We did a few little mods to the car um, and made some great videos, but it basically, there wasn't much left to do. Um, Letitia really wanted an Evo, so we managed to do that. And it's gonna be really great once we get our house and move in, we'll have a double garage. Just walking into the garage and just seeing two Evo 10s parked there, mine and hers. It's actually really good. It's something I'm really going to be proud of, I already am proud of, but just can't wait till we have our house, our two Evo 10s. And it's, yeah, it's, it's something that I'm really grateful for. Uh, whenever we go for a drive together and I just sort of look in the rearview mirror and see Letitia driving behind in her Evo 10 while I'm sitting in mine, it's something really good. So yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Gonna have to really wrap this up because it is actually starting to rain now. Um, and I don't wanna get my new camera too wet. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you wanna see more videos of this car, let me know what you'd like to see. Um, the builds, you know, kind of stopped for now as we are trying to not spend money on cars since we're in the middle of buying our house. But 
yeah, soon we'll be adding more parts to this car and doing a lot more with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up down below. And just put a comment, even if it's just to say that you enjoyed the video or you like the car. Um, it does help the YouTube algorithm having likes and comments in the video. So I would appreciate that. And yeah, if you'd like to see more of this car, you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. You showing the support and subscribing to me. But with all that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.